Good afternoon. Actually, almost good evening. Uh, welcome to my daily chat. This is episode number 500, 540, and articulate that now. <laughs> um, and today's topic is about post Thanksgiving, because it's the day after Thanksgiving, in case you're wondering the calendar. Um, are you still thankful? Um, I'm going to unpack a few things and throw you some ideas and offer us some solutions in a short period of time. Um, before I jump into that, let me, let me introduce myself. My name is Barry Selby. I'm a best-selling author, speaker, and relationship attraction expert, and I help strong, successful women attract and create balance in love, life, and business. I'm also a passionate champion for the divine feminine, and that inspired about two years ago these talks that I do called Messages for the Masculine to Inspire Your Feminine Heart, hence the name. And right now, as of today, as of this moment, we're in episode number 540. So still cruising, there's still stuff to talk about for some reason. And today's topic is around the post Thanksgiving blues, the post Turkey um, tryptophan coma experience in a way, um, not just food, but about the, the experience because yesterday, certainly in my experience was talking about thankfulness and gratitude and a lot of people were talking about that. And I did actually drop that in my talk yesterday. Yes, I did talk about that. Mm -hmm. And um, the challenge, the opportunity I believe we face is how do we do that every day? And it's going to sound so simplistic, but for some people Thanksgiving isn't an easy day, I know. And for most of my friends and people who watch this, generally speaking, their connection on Thanksgiving is a wonderful, uplifting, inspiring, joyful experience. And yet, and yet, there is a segment of the population, I'll put it that way, where going over Thanksgiving is one of the most traumatic experiences of the year. And this may not affect you, but it might be affect somebody you know, so maybe you want to share it with them. Um, this, by the way, is Facebook Live first. It does go onto YouTube and onto my podcast later on, but it's certainly shareable, you know, on Facebook and later on on YouTube. Um, this may be for them more than for you, because the challenge with Thanksgiving is it often involves family. <laughs> and I say challenge intentionally because for some people going to see the family on Thanksgiving so not the furniture around excuse me is a less than ideal experience it's actually kind of distressing that the statistics which I don't have in front of me of how many functional versus dysfunctional families are I would guesstimate it's close to 50-50 now it may not, be, may not be accurate I'm guessing because I don't have I've not done the surveys and I haven't looked online for the actual statistics because frankly most dysfunctional families won't report that they are so, you know, it's almost impossible to manage that number. And my, my point about this, or what the intention about this talk is, one, being thankful is an is a opportunity to go much deeper into your gratitude about who you are and to appreciate your life and to make your life better. And the reality I said yesterday was, you know, can you be thankful that you're breathing? You can be thankful that you have some food to eat. You can be thankful that if you're watching this broadcast, you have a phone or a computer's access to do that. Those things you can be grateful for, simple. But can you do three things or four things or five things every single day that you can be grateful for? Now, back to the challenging relationship with parents and, and family experience. If you're carrying around challenges with your family and if Thanksgiving exacerbated those, listen up because this is going to be important for you to know. I talked before Thanksgiving, like for the week or so before I mentioned a few times about um, the challenge of going home to see family when you are not a really loving family environment and sometimes it can be hard to go back and meet that uncle, that brother, that aunt, that that father, that parent or whoever that hurt you or wounded you in the past. And I'm putting it this way intentionally to um, provide some insight because if you didn't have a perfect relationship with your parents or your family growing up, it's not the end of the world. And in fact, it can be one of the biggest gifts, yes, I'm going to say this, one of the gifts you ever have, because it may put you on the path to where you are now. I shared yesterday, I think yesterday, about how, from my own experience, I had a very, I had a great family upbringing, as much as it was dysfunctional as well, in the most subtle ways. But I talked about how challenging it was as a kid in school about being bullied and pushed around. And the feeling of like, well, if I could go back and change that, would I? And I said, you know, kind of like the, the butterfly effect, if you if you understand time travel and stuff, or if you've read any science fiction about this stuff, the, the premise is simply that if you change something in the past, the ripple effect from there to the future, to the current moment, well, could be drastic. 
You know, one little change can change everything that happens right now. You never know. So for me, I'm really getting clear how grateful I am for my life where it is now with things that I still want to do that aren't where I want them to be. But who I am and what I'm about and my passion, my work, my service, these talks even, may never have happened if I had changed that paradigm back there. If I had stood up to the bullies, if I hadn't been bullied, if something had been different back then, I doubt I would have been on the path that I'm on to where I am now. So as much as it was painful back then, I actually have gratitude for what happened because of who I am now. So I'm offering that to you as an idea, a suggestion, as I did yesterday as well, that perhaps if you have some traumatic experiences in the past, painful ones, upsetting ones, distressing ones, is a possibility you can have some gratitude if it's gotten you where you are now. If you're grateful for where you are now in your life, for what you're doing, who you are, what you're about, your passion for life perhaps, or your passion to change things, can you go back and be thankful for that? Not to give let them off the hook, because there's no, not, it's not about justifying what happened, but to be thankful enough to make, make peace with that. In fact, I was reading um, my friend Linda Linda Gein's book that she and collaborated with a few other people put together that came out um, this week. The stories in that from the women in the book, the stories are, in some cases, such trauma and, and abuse that they went through. Yet every single one of the women in the book is standing proud and, and powerful in their feminine strength. And that to me was such a, I mean, it's a gift to read the book. Um, I'll put the link in the comments, by the way, later on. I recommend you check it out because it's such a reminder that it doesn't matter what happens to us, we can still grow beyond it. We can still step beyond those, those, those um, experiences and have a full life, a, a vibrant life, a loving life. And in my work with my clients, just because I'm going to put my marching, my coaching in here as well, I'm going to talk about it. It's my broadcast. I've got to talk about this stuff. What I love in the journey with my clients is helping them to, in a lot of ways, not just get clear about where they're going, but also to make peace with the wounds and hurts from the past that may still be limiting them to this moment. But my, my work with my clients is to actually help them resolve that and make peace with it. So they can be thankful for the journey of who they've become. So they can be forward thinking and a and align to where they want to go in their lives. It's, it's the deep work I love doing because when I see my clients thrive in their magnificence, their beauty, their, their healed state of awareness, it, it's what lights me up. So that's why I'm grateful for this too. So I'll, again, I'll put the link for this book in the comments because it's a worthy read to maybe remind you of your own power as well. And I'll also put a link in there for the discovery session with me because just as it is Black Friday today, yes, I will use those terms, Black Friday, um, being the day after Thanksgiving, I will put the, um, a link to a discovery session with me so you can sign up to find out more about the, the offerings I have. I actually have three um, special coaching um, invitations that are much more accessible and reasonable and um, a lower investment. I'll help you get where you want to go. So I'll put that in the comments as well. So what I want to make sure you get from this, this point of this talk, because this again is my daily chat, is can you take this Thanksgiving mindset, this gratitude mindset, leave the turkey behind, <laughs> leave, take your Thanksgiving mindset forward into the future? As in, can you be, can you have, can you build a practice, let me put it this way, build a practice of gratitude every single day? Can you look at things in your life in the history and through the lens of things where you see things from a more aware mindset of things that may have been challenging when you were younger or upsetting or wounding? Can you look back at those with a much more um, holistic view, for want of a better word? And can you look at them from the point of view of being grateful because they got you where you are now? These are questions I invite you to answer. If you want to put them in the comments, you can respond in the comments and that'd be fine too. I'll happily respond to them. But I'll make sure you get this point clearly. One, you have power over your perspective. It's not about changing the past. It's changing your relationship to the past. Big difference. And that's part of my coaching work. Again, I'll put the link in the comments for that. But I want to make sure you get this point that you have the power that what happens to you does not... Um, I can say this. What happened to you in the past does not govern, that's the word, what govern who you are now. You have freedom in the moment to change your story, change your history, and change your relationship with it so you can be free to have what you want. And if you're not trying to get there, I'm here to help. That's a big segue. <laughs> yes, I am promoting my stuff. Um, if you're out of practice with loving yourself, this is, and I'll put the link in the comments for that, my self-love practice, because I love promoting it, because it works. Um, practicing, the, practicing twice a day in the mirror, looking in the mirror and seeing yourself in your own eyes, looking in your eyes and connecting and saying, I love you to yourself 
every day for five minutes in the morning, five minutes in the evening for 30 days will change your life. If you want to, if you want to download my meditation practice, I invite you to check that out. I'll put the link for that in the comments too. That's three links I'm providing, just making sure I remember. But the reality is you have control. You have the power, you have the freedom, and you have the love to guide you through. I think that basically sums it up. Um, it's something that I'm obviously passionate about, having done 540 broadcasts on this general theme. So if you are feeling like you're not sure how to get there, please reach out. And this is a reminder to you that you deserve the best. You can have what you want. And that whatever happened to you before does not govern your future. You can change that. So with that, I thank you for watching. Quick reminders, this again is Facebook Live. It goes onto my YouTube channel and onto my podcast. I'll give the links to find me that way. If you're looking for my replays of all these broadcasts on Facebook, they're on my business page, which is barryselby.author. There are other places too, but that's the best place to find them. I then put them onto my YouTube channel, which is also Barry Selby. In fact, all my social media is Barry Selby. Please subscribe to my YouTube channel, which is Barry Selby. The playlist is Messages from the Masculine. You can find them all there. There's other videos on my other channel, on my other playlist too. And also I'm putting onto my podcast, which is called Messages from the Masculine, because that's the name of the podcast. And you can subscribe to that as well and download those audios if you want to listen to them when you're driving, riding, when you're not able to watch the screen. Um, with that, I thank you for watching. Have a wonderful Friday night. Um, I'm off to go see some friends and have some leftovers from Thanksgiving. And I invite you to take care of yourself. You deserve the best. And if you put your energy into loving yourself, it's easier to get what you want. So with that, I thank you for watching. Take care of yourself. I'll see you again tomorrow. Bye.